What is going on everybody? It is your boy Sir MC Koi. Welcome back to the Slippery Rock Dynasty. Coming off of a week one upset over Miami Ohio University, things are not going to be getting easier as we now play Kansas. Now, in the Big 12, Kansas, yeah, they're kind of considered, you know, a bottom dweller. We are a brand new team to the college football standings. We are a D2 team, essentially. We're still a small school. So every battle is going to be an extremely tough one. You know, basically every single matchup we go into, we're the underdog. And we need to play like that. Because here's the thing. If you watched our week one, our offensive line is obviously our weak spot our o-line is extremely extremely weak and opposing defensive linemen have already been abusing it i mean don king has not had a lot of time to pass shamar green hasn't had a lot of running room so we need to get a little creative with the offense and figure out ways you know to, to get points on the board so we will see kansas starting with the ball here this is Peyton Bender passing here, and that pass was a little inaccurate. Just a little precursor, Kansas does love running the no huddle offense, so we will be seeing that a lot today. Bender on third down and nine, passing downfield, and he's got his man, Dalen Charlotte, for 40 yards. That is not good. You can't let those guys get behind you like that, especially when you're running zones. Second down and eight, Bender is gonna go down. It's Delmar Henderson on the safety sack. Third down and 12. Can the defense hold? Bender to pass, they only rush three. Steps up in the pocket and lobs one for a wide open receiver, but he overthrows it. So Slippery Rock defense does a good job holding, and Kansas will now go for the field goal attempt. To try to get the first points of the day on the board, and that kick is gonna be short. So the first driver results in no points. So we're going to get a little studio update as our opponent next week, number five ranked Penn State, has lost to University of Central Florida, who's off to a hot 3-0 start. So that could hopefully be an omen of good things to come as we'll see the triple option run on first down as Shamar Green doesn't really have a lot of room there, but he still is able to pick up four yards. Now with third down upcoming for Slippery Rock, King with a quick pass and Drew Scales cannot hold on on Slippery Rock punts. Both teams have had one drive and both teams have come up with no points on the board as we will see Kansas. That was an impressive one-handed catch from Tyler Patrick. That results in 26 yards. First and 10, they'll go option now as Bender has great blocking up ahead. Oh, what a freaking block downfield. He trips though and he only gets 18. Still quite a bit. Bender now again running out of that no huddle. Going for Johnson and has the pass knocked loose. That's Delmar Henderson. Third down and 12. Can Slippery Rock hold them again? Bender to pass. Downfield. He's got his man, Dalen Charlotte, who has burned us for a 40-yard catch. And then he just burned us for 30 yards and a touchdown there. Seems like that's the recipe for them early is go to Charlotte. So... We're looking at 7 0 Kansas as Shamar Green tries to get some running room. Only finds two. An early third down and eight. King back to pass. He's hit as he throws. He didn't have any time in the pocket. And Slippery Rock will be punting. Kansas will get great starting field position as Bender throws and again. It's Charlotte. Underneath, this time it's good for 12, his shortest of the day. First and 10 handoff, Martin. He's brought down on the backfield by. Delmar Henderson. Hearing that name quite a bit early. That's what we like to see. Third and 11, can we get a stop? Bender passing, lobbing one downfield, and he misses his man who again was open down the sideline. So no points, we minimize the damage. We'll go option, Don King doesn't stand a chance. Losing three yards on that play. Second down and 13, King to pass. Quick pressure, he throws it to McNally, he tips it, and it's intercepted by Kansas! Moore is going to have no one there to tackle him. A freak play turns into a pick six for Kansas. And just like that, Slippery Rock finds themselves down by 14. The offense will come right back and King again, just no time. He fumbles, but thankfully Green is there to pick it up, but it's a loss of four. Third and long now, King to pass. Sliding right, pressure incoming. He finds Drew Scales, but nowhere to go. He picks up seven. But he needed 11. Kansas will come back out again as we're nearing the end of the first quarter. 
Bender with a quick throw in the flats to his running back Taylor Martin who for some reason runs out of bounds. So third and four. Defense, we need you to step up. Bender running left and he's gonna have space and he's gonna slide down for the first down. Kansas is keeping their drive alive. First and 10, Bender. Over the middle, this time it's Sims Jr. They have a slew of wide receivers that they can throw to as they're consistently spreading out the defense. We'll go hand off to Martin now. He picks up seven yards on that run on first down. Nearing the end of the first quarter, it's third down and three. Bender with pressure. The pass is dropped by Booker, and they will punt. The defense has been playing well so far in the first quarter, but our offense needs to match that play. The defense has been our strong suit thus far. But meanwhile, we haven't seen much from the offense. Second down, King rolls out. Nice throw on the run as he finds Marcus Johnson for a gain of eight and a first down. Nice to see. King, in pressure, he still is able to get the throw off for Shamar Green, and that's what he's got to be able to do. These quick passes, running play action, you know, divert the defense just a little bit. Second and 12, downfield tip, almost caught, but it'll fall incomplete. It's third and 12. King again passing, quick pressure, and that one nearly was intercepted by Mike Lee. So the Rock punts again. Just a three for nine for 30 yards start for Don K. Bender now on the run, and he's got space and a first down, and he's off to the races inside the 40, down close to the 30 yard line, a 29 yard run for Peyton Bender. Go hand off to Martin, who just stiff arms away. Oh, that was nasty. Gain of 13. First and 10, Bender over the middle. Somehow caught by Tyler Patrick. It's first and goal, Kansas. Taking no time to get this close as Martin will just walk in untouched. Braced for impact, and it never came. And Kansas has extended their lead to 21-0. Slippery Rock has got to get something figured out. They have got to get some damage control out there. King passing on first down. He finds Drew Scales. That'll be good for a first down. That's what we want to do. Quick passes. It's already third and 11. King lobbing one left side, and he's got his man Leroy McLean for 21 yards. Slippery Rock moving the ball a little bit here. First and 10, King running option, gets the pitch out to Green, who's got some open space. He's got a first down and more. Down at the 20 yard line, it's a gain of 21 for Shamar Green. Inside the red zone now, King rolling out, throwing it's intercepted. That man's name is Defense. Um, that's kind of funny. But the interception is not. So no points off of what looked like a promising drive, and Kansas is right back at it. Taylor Martin starts the drive with a 20-yard scamper. Man, this this is a very sobering game. If, you know, if Slippery Rock was riding a high after week one, this is gonna bring them crashing back down to earth. Third and one handoff goes to Martin. He's got the first down. The defense is playing good, but I mean, eventually they're gonna break, and we're, we're kind of starting to see that now as Henderson makes a nice play in the backfield. Loss of two. He, he's been the one bright spot on this team, if I had to say anything right now. Herbert tries to go outside, and there's Marcus Martin. Okay. So two tackles for losses, and it's third and 14. Can we stop them? Bender sliding. Throws and finds Booker. It's a first down. He holds on to it this time. 21 yards, and Kansas is still moving. Bender on the option. Goes out kind of wide, but still is able to pick up seven yards with that one. Third down and short for Kansas. Defense needs to come up and make a stop as Bender goes down. It's Delmar Henderson again. His second sack. Kansas gets a field goal. It's 24-0. We need points now. King over the middle finds Drew Scales. That's five yards. A touchdown before the half would be a start. King third and 70 is going to be sacked. Loss of eight, and there goes that. Kansas now probably going to try to put some points up before the half, and they will. Downfield, it's freaking Staven Sims. They just keep beating us on these out routes down the sideline. First and 10, Bender to pass over the middle. He finds Johnson now, his tight end. That's a gain of seven. Still 30 seconds left on the clock. Kansas can just take their time as Bender is going to take the quarterback option, and he is going to walk in 10 yards out in Kansas now. 31-0. This is... This is ugly. 
There is, there's no other way to word it. This is ugly. Slippery Rock, you've got to get something figured out. First and 10 with 19 seconds left. We're just going to run it out, but Shamar Green does get a first down here. So maybe we can do something. First down and 10, King passing. Looking deep downfield, he's got a man. Cornelius Ray makes the catch. Down inside the 25-yard line. That's a 44-yard bomb. We've got 11 seconds. First and 10, King. Flushed out of the pocket. Still rolling. Throws. Finds Johnson. That'll be good for 14 yards, but there's five seconds. So at least a field goal before the half. We need something. Davis's kick. Oh my god, it's off the uprights. Oh my god. If that doesn't perfectly sum up this first half for Slippery Rock, I really don't know what does. 31-0. Ugh. See you guys in the second half. This was not what I envisioned when I thought of this game. Like I said, I knew it was going to be tough. But 31 nothing after the half is just... Oh, that's that's crushing. That is... Uh, oh, that, that, that's not good. I'm going to get a little peek at the stats here. Um, the passing yards do look good, but of course we did have that late drive. But unable to get anything going on the ground. First and 10, we'll see King. We do get the ball, so maybe we can get some points, right? There's Brian McNally. He'll get him across midfield, and that is a good start. If we can get points on this drive, maybe we can mount a second half comeback. King, man misses the tackle from behind, and Don King will get a first down as he runs out of bounds after gaining 11. First and 10, King. Good protection. Looking downfield, he's got Drew Scales. That's a gain of 23. Slippery Rock. They're driving right now. Second down, we'll see King on the quarterback keeper. And Don King from 12 yards out finally gets Slippery Rock on the board. There was no better way that we could have started the second half. Now, defense, you got to step up. Bender throwing on first down. There's Charlotte wide open along the sideline. That's a gain of 14. First and 10 as they are nearing midfield. Bender over the middle finds Taylor Martin and they will advance into Slippery Rock territory, a gain of 16. First and 10, Bender. Quick throw over the middle, he's got Steven Sims now. That's a gain of 11. Come on, defense. Let's not make it this easy. On second down, Bender. Back to throw. Looking left side, it's dropped by Sims, but there's a flag on the play. Oh my gosh, and a roughing the passer will give them a free first down. It's first and goal. Bender goes hand off to Martin, and Marcus Martin is all over him. Third and goal. Can the defense make a stop here? Bender to pass. Throws. End zone. Touchdown, Steven Sims. And they are just going to extend that lead right back to 31 points and... What else is there to say, you know? This one's just gotten out of hand. So, we'll see Slippery Rock come out, second and ten. We'll see a pitch out to Green, who can't recover the fumble! And Kansas falls on it, and oh my god. Oh, the misfortunes for Slippery Rock continue. Kansas with excellent field position, looking to add more points. As there's Charlotte along the sidelines, that'll get him close to the first down. It's third and two. Bender to pass, with pressure, finds Taylor Martin though, that'll be good for a first down to the five yard line. Man, just unlucky. Bender, quarterback keeper, going to the sidelines, fighting through a tackler in Kansas. Just is scoring at will right now, 45 to seven. Slipper Rock, you've gotta get something going. King, throws an interception. Our past two plays have all been turnovers in Kansas. Another pick six. Why not? 52 to 7. Can this game just be over? This this is embarrassing. This hurts to watch. This hurts to commentate. This just hurts in general. So we'll get the ball back. Hey, it's not a turnover. First down. Shamar Green 11 yards on the reception. He's doing better receiving than he is running, unfortunately. Third and seven. King hit as he throws, but finds hardly. And he gets a first down. All right, decent. First and 10, King back to pass. Pressure, and he gets it out to Marcus Johnson. 10 yards, they'll just be inches shy of a first down. On second inches. Triple option, they keep it with Dominic Dingle. God, I still love that name. Six yards. Putting together a decent little drive here. 
King feels pressure but gets it out to Drew Scales. That's nine yards. They're close to a first down marker. Third and one. King hand off to Green and he will go nowhere losing a yard. They got that telegraph pretty well. Fourth and two, King throwing, finds Marcus Johnson. The drive will stay alive. First down, Slippery Rock. At this point, we're just trying to save face here. King throws, wide open is Drew Scales, and that'll be a touchdown for Slippery Rock, but the damage has already been done. I mean, it's still a 38-point lead if I can do my math right. I don't know if I did my math right, to be honest. Regardless, there, there's that beautiful little... Uh, option glitch but Bender will still go down for a loss of two thanks to full boy second and 12 Bender throwing screen out to Sims it was well covered he catches it but he is gonna lose four yards so third down and 16 in the defense hold Bender lobbing one deep downfield and Charlotte drops it oh he was wide open thankfully he drops it so fourth down and 16 We'll get the ball back. Henderson, it's not a good punt, so we're going to get the ball into Kansas territory as he returns that one up past the 45-yard line. Can we do something with it, though? King, feeling pressure. He's going to go down. A big loss of 11 yards on that sack. Third down and 21 now. King is going to feel pressure again as he lobs one, and that one's nearly intercepted by Mike Lee. At this point, just trying to pad some stats, get some points on the board. Henderson! Oh my god, what did he just do to Peyton Bender? That, was, that might have been the highlight of the game, honestly. On second down, he'll throw it out, he'll find Patrick, that'll be a first down. Pretty much clockwork at this point for Kansas. Surprisingly, the first down numbers are actually like kind of even? I don't know how. Probably because they don't need that many first downs, they're just marching up and down the field. Third down and ten, Bender throwing. Over the middle, Sims, first down. Like I said, it's clockwork at this point. Slippery Rock has just lost all of their mojo at this point. And Kansas is just doing what they want at will right now. Oh, there's a big pass for Hall. Haven't seen him yet at all today, but that's 24 yards. First and 10, Bender. Trying to go outside, he's tackled by Conglues. Nice, nice job, guys. Someone's still showing up. Third and 12, Bender. Feels pressure, lobbing one, nearly intercepted by Fulmore. So Kansas gets a field goal, 55 points. You know, 52 just wasn't enough for him. Slippery Rock lobbing one deep on first and 10, and it's caught by Marcus Johnson. Nice play, but again, just too little, too late, as we'll see the option now. King keeping it, then pitches it out to Green, who does get the first down, so a questionable pitch, but it works out in the end. Third down and 12, King throwing, finding Drew Scales. It's first and goal now. All right. First down and goal. King on the quarterback keeper. He'll get it in for one more touchdown. Slippery Rock is able to muster up 21 points, but uh, this one is over. Ugh. This was a tough one. This one hurt. Peyton Bender, obviously the player of the game. I mean, ugh. This was just pure domination. This is what I was speaking about, you know. We are essentially still a D2 school. Our team in the overall category isn't that good. I think we're a 65 overall across the board. So you have to expect some games like this. After this defeat, though, to the hands of Kansas, I am really concerned about what's going to happen next week when we play Penn State. I mean, Saquon Barkley, oh, God, he, he, he might just run all over us. He might have a field day. But they did just lose to University of Central Florida, so hopefully we can use this, you know, as a little bit of uh, maybe we can use this loss as a bit of a learning point, you know, maybe a, an awakening for this team too, you know. That, like I said, it, there was a good win in Week One, but this definitely brought us back down to earth. We know what we need to do to win: quick throws, and we need to at least try to establish a run game. I mean, Don King did okay. 309 yards, the three interceptions isn't good, but if you can avoid the turnovers, Don King is doing okay he only got sacked three times even though it felt like he got sacked way more Shamar Green did end up with 52 yards a lot of those did come off of option plays which I think again is something that we need to run a lot um, in order to just keep the off uh, the defense off guard receiving scales had over 100 yards Marcus Johnson had 80 Shamar Green had two for 26 and Cornelius Ray only had one reception for 44 yards defensively we had a lot of guys with some tackles um, Delmar Henderson had one, himself one hell of a day, though. 
10 tackles, 6 for loss, and 2 sacks. Definitely the uh, defensive MVP for us. As I said, though, we got to move on. Week 4 against now number 14 Penn State. We got a little cross. We got a little Pennsylvania rivalry going on here. This could be a pretty good one. Um, I mean, we know what Penn State is. We know what they can bring to the table, and we know that we're going to have to bring our best team to the table if we are going to have any chance of beating them. I mean, it's Penn State who we're talking here. Trace McSorley, Saquon Barkley. This is a team that can hurt you in so many ways. Trace McSorley, though, has thrown five interceptions this year, so hopefully that is something that we can use to our advantage. But, man, those games hurt, you know? When, uh... It never feels good to be beat down like that. So, like I said, hopefully we can rebound big off of that and try to find a way to upset Penn State. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next week as we face number 14, Penn State. See ya. Back from the dead.